Last week, Alex Jacob became the first player since Julia Collins to win all five games, but tonight our players aren't taking him lying down. Welcome to the Final Wager, I'm Keith Williams. Speaking of Julia, this combined score is, I think, the highest combined score since Julia's game against Arthur and Ben in the first match of the TFC Finals. And I thought we were going to pass it there for a little while. We had a few high-value negs toward the end, and that kept us away. Big payday, perhaps, for someone. Start with Todd. 36-8 if he doubles up. So Alex need to wager 10-4. He's wrong with that wager. He's going to be left with 16,000 even. Well, 15,999. Monica needs to get it right. So she might as well wager everything. Todd, you can see, has 2400 more than that, so he'll cap his wager at 2400 Remember, we'll add or remove dollars at the end. If Monica doubles up, she's going to have 19 2 so to cover that, Todd's going to need to wager 800 And if Alex wants to stay above her, that's 7200 That might come into play, but we'll see. All right. Done with that. Toss this guy. What color we got next? Let's see. Green. Ooh. Hope it erases today. Okay, if we play mind games now, Todd. Max is out of 2,400. He's going to have 20,800. So to stay above that, sorry, 5,600. And uh, if Alex is right with that wager, he's going to have 32000 but he will be catchable by Todd, so if Todd wants to cover that, he should go all in. And we could do some, there's really no level 3 covers, except for Alex. These two are separated by 8000 so on the downside, max out uh, 16 for Alex. Because of exactly what Todd did, went for 8,000 and won. Not a good wager because it covers that, fails to cover that small range out of Alex. Monica, I have no idea what she's doing with that $5,000 wager because that's not going to win. So she gets the dreaded black. You'll see that she did get it right. She had 14.6, and Alex would still beat her. And Todd would still win, but had he missed, Alex would have been a seven day champ. Instead, he retires with six wins under his belt. He'll be back to the TOC. Great run. Uh, interesting strategy that worked out well for him. The stalling tactic toward the end. I don't really think it has that much value, but can't argue with the results. Got a new champ, and we'll see how he does tomorrow, and I hope you'll join me then on the final wager.